Hi, welcome to CIDC Nirman. I'm Jay Shrikurup. I'm editor CIDC Nirman. And I have with me Mr. Sharad Kumar. He's from the Airports Authority of India. He's member uh, operations. Uh, sir, thank you for joining us. Uh, sir, tell us, you, you won an award uh, at the CIDC, in, uh, Vishwakarma Awards. Tell us what got you the award. Talk uh, about that. Thank you very much, ma'am. Pleasure talking to you. See, in Airports Authority of India, our main job is to make new airports, modify them, increase the capacity of the airports and we have a Herculean task because our economy is growing, our people want to have more flights, more airlines, more airports because our generation like new generation, they want to be marching ahead like other countries. Right. They visit, they go out, they ask why our airports are not good. Mm -hmm. so that's a big task we are having in our hand and we are continuously improving, improvising and expanding our airports. So ma'am, you'll be glad to note that on 10th of March, Honorable Prime Minister has inaugurated 17 airports in a day. Hmm. That's a super Sunday for Indian aviation, where no way in the world you have heard that 17 airports are started on one single day. Right. And uh, two more things I would like to add. Recently, we have done the Gwalior new terminal, airport terminal, along with the apron base. And you'll be glad to note that we did it in 16 months straight. Okay. 500 crore rupees project. 16 months straight and that is commissioned also 2-3 days back. Uh -huh. Then we have done another uh, big thing which like you will appreciate is Ayodhya International right. Airport. So we started and uh, government gave us land. Within 20 months we made the entire runway, apron, terminal building and we put to operation also. It's really happening anywhere yeah. in the world. That same day we start operations also and then rest is the history you have seen lakhs of people are coming yeah. uh, to Ayodhya to have darshan of Ramdala. So this is all credit goes to the team of Air Pursuit of India, our engineers, architects, our contractors and all the stakeholders, airlines, they have put together their hard work and we could create such miracles and every day it's happening and our large vision is to have another uh, 200 airports in coming time so that we can have as many airports as possible and the dream of becoming third largest civil aviation in the world comes true uh -huh. and already we are growing in double digit so there is no um, uh, looking back uh -huh. or there is no other way that we um, uh, slow down the speed rather we have to increase our speed to meet the vision of the government is to have a Viksit Bharat by 2047. So we are drawing um, our targets, we are making our achievements more fruitful, more uh, like for the people of this country to be proud of. Right. So what are the elements that help you speed up and uh, maintain quality? Ma'am, there are three, four stages actually. If yeah. any project, you must have the uh, right type of planning. Hmm. So you have to have understanding of what size of terminal, what size of runway, then there are a lot of obstacles. Once you start the work, you come to know that uh, there are some high-rise buildings or chimneys or electrical time transmission lines. So all those things have to be relocated hmm. or they have to be shifted so that you have a uh, clear approach for the aircrafts to land or take off. Second important thing is that to get a right type of design and the contractor who will uh, implement it. And third very important thing is that you must have roots also. Hmm. The place should have a catchment so that airlines feel comfortable or business, uh, what you call sustainable business model for them to fly to that place. Right. Then the last, the least point is that affordability. Mm. If you make something very expensive, then also people will not uh, come forward for that. Yeah. So if it is good, very um, comfortable, affordable and it's going to save your time and money, definitely it's going to be a successful project. Right. And uh, in terms of manpower, do you need extra skilling to uh, meet these yes. extra demands? Yes, ma'am. We have to uh, skill up every day because new technologies, new material, innovation is the key word nowadays. Unless we do all that, we are not going to achieve our targets. So we have to see that how uh, we use uh, sustainable material, recyclable material so that the cost, project cost comes down, use the uh, green energy so that we are not burdening our uh, already stretched resources. Uh -huh. At the same time, uh, the people also have to be make accustomed, whether they are carpenters or they are the 
uh, welders or they are the glass people everybody has to show and they have to understand and they should learn the new technologies right. new material right. so that in less time and less cost we can get, deliver more and better and bigger and do you uh, face a skills challenge yes we do okay. we do face challenges and we keep our uh, stakeholders and we do lot of uh, workshops and training and okay. training modules to for our people also for external stakeholders also to learn and understand uh -huh. different models different type of contracts and how to like uh, sum up everything so that the uh, the product is good uh -huh. it is uh, cost effective and it is uh, appreciable by all congratulations so much sir thank you so much for thank talking you to us thank you thank you lovely talking to you